Hi, friend. I'm from the cable company, and I see you have our basic package. Would you be interested in my deluxe world stomach package? Huh? Well, you'd have access to all kinds of shows. We have drama, romance, sports, oh, action, comedy, and stuff for the kids. <laughs> There's also the lamest superhero who ever pretended to fly. Yeah, and powerful words of inspiration. You think I'm poop? Plus, no. I'll throw in a bunch of clues to our number one dumbest TV show. Finally, some action. And if you sign up right now, I'll watch it with you. Come on in. True TV presents world's dumbest TV shows, and it all starts right now. Coming in at number 20 is a reality show that follows the exploits of an all-female bounty hunting squad called Lipstick Bounty Hunters. Today's fugitive got a hundred thousand dollar case for sales of meth, possession, uh, assault with deadly weapon. So he likes to uh, fight and he likes to sell drugs. For some reason, I thought lipstick bounty hunters would be sexier than this. Yeah. Technically, he's not a fugitive. He's technically not a fugitive, but we're gonna overreact like he is because this is more fun than book club. The lipstick bounty hunters tracked man to a local fast food restaurant. <laughs> Damn, that's a big weapon for such a small woman. Yeah, so I'm sitting in the Arby's, enjoying my sandwich, and this woman's bowling team comes in and tries to kill me. Let's get them, girls. Taser's set to irritate. It's nice that they all have cameras, so you can see how they're failing from every angle. Okay, ladies, let me get this straight. You had your hands on him in the Arby's, then he dragged you both outside, pushed you off, and got in his car and drove away? Lipstick bounty hunters, you're fired! Our dumb TV countdown continues with a 1960s animated program that follows the exploits of a crime-fighting agent named... Bus Cargo! I'll get it, Spinner. Oh, why, why is my old friend Snowshoe Slidney? Oogle-oogle, Clutch Cargo! Oogle-oogle to you, Snowshoe. <laughs> oogle-oogle to you, you old Eskimo son of a bitch! What does Oogaloogaloo mean, Mr. Snowshoe? Ah, I know what Oogaloogaloo means. It means we're too cheap to animate this, so we'll just use our own mouths underneath cheap, crappy drawings. What's all the excitement, Snowshoe? What brings you so far from the North Pole? Much, much trouble, Clutch Cargo. Is this trying to entertain kids or scare them? What you have to do is Chin Chu Chow. Yes. So kind to honor humble house. Chin Chu Chow might be the most racist name in TV history. And please tell Mr. Chin I was in. Certainly, honorable sir. You thought that was offensive? Wait till we bring the black guys in. Say, my man, pots and pans. What's up, blood? It's cargo. Get him. No more tricks, boys. Your little game is over. That's the end of your cookie caper, boys. Will Clutch Cargo save the day? Will the animators draw a fourth picture? Stay tuned! And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Cookie Caper. Good thing the producers of this show aren't that cheap, otherwise we'd all be replaced with cartoon heads. <laughs> cool. Oh, yikes, no thanks. Wow. Nope. <laughs> Ugh, baby. This is the spirit of God. See, the spirit of God is omnipotent, and it works on you. It'll work on your ass, and I can be far, far away. You ain't down with that. Shut your damn ass up.
Oh, good, they gave that crazy guy from the bus his own TV show. Yo, your motherfucking communication is corrupted. F what you talking about? The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, and go f yourself! Well, I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Any, anybody, anybody resisting? <laughs> my ass kissing. You f***ing nincompoop. poop. You know, I always thought the word nincompoop could use a little something extra. Like two f***s. You f***ing nincompoop. poop. Is that the word of God? Holy f***ing <laughs> Your thoughts ain't my thoughts. Bitch, I'm flowing straight from the survival scroll. Is he preaching from the yellow pages? Podiatrist 1038, Jesus will heal your buttons, your hammer toes, your cords, and your calluses. I don't see any of you asses bearing witness for me or Jesus. I can't see none of you publishing peace. This is a, Jesus is the way to peace. After five years on cable access, the spirit of truth was taken off the air. Five years? My guess is they were afraid to tell him he's canceled. You f***ing income f***ing poop. Here's your first sneak peek of the number one dumbest TV show on our countdown. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is accused of bringing you the number one dumbest TV show. <laughs> Eat me! I present you exhibits A through C. Now you're ready to apply some makeup. What is smeared all over that woman? What is causing those sounds? And why is that woman being beaten with a small plant? Congratulations can stimulate the skin. Admit it! You're responsible for this dumbness. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Order! Order! We'll adjourn for now. I need to go back to my chambers and examine this clip with some lotion. Uh, my full attention. We'll reconvene shortly. Couch potatoes have always loved their sports. But the televised sporting event that lands at number 17 is not your standard fare. Launched in 2008, an organization called Major League Combat tried to turn juggling into a full contact sport. Okay, if you're just joining us tonight, uh, we've got both teams on the field warming up for what promises to be a very, very exciting night on Major League Combat. Major League Combat? Are you leaving the juggling part out on purpose? Okay, we're off to, oh, wow, that's a, oh, wow, hey, oops, say it, and, oh, that's gotta hurt, oh. A show where jugglers get viciously beaten with their own clubs? Tell me more. Guys, we got a lot of good acrobatics going on tonight. Ooh, that's a good collision, and a nice pass by Jenkins, and over the top, and shoulder. Two-yard penalty, traveling, unofficial use of bowling pins. Bernil seems to have some problem with the ref right now. What? I thought we could just make up rules as we went along. Joining out to be quite a good tournament here and a lot of good hits, a lot of intense rivalry, a lot of fans hitting the floor. I gotta be honest with you, and Green is pulling it. Nice shot. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh sh they just took Jenkins out. He's on my fantasy team. Wow, very high swing by Peters. Jacobson not happy about it. It's funny how I hear a cheering audience, but I don't see one. The pre-recorded crowd is on its feet! It is pre-recorded pandemonium! At this point, it looks like Tuckin's got it, I gotta say, and, uh, yep, that's it. Tuckin's got it. They've won. This is exciting, yes, but did you catch this season of ventriloquist baseball? Riveting! Thanks for joining us. Until next time, keep them in the air. Next on our countdown is Dog TV programming developed specifically to be watched by dogs. Stay. Good boy, Callie. Good boy. Hey. I still can't get a show in the air. Dogs have their own network. I'm gonna kill myself. Go get a boy. Wanna go for a ride, buddy? <laughs> nice angle, dude. How's the dog's ass look? <laughs> You know, the plot is a little thin, but the characters are very likable. All I can say is, hang on, Dog TV really picks up in the second season. Got a boy! Coming soon from the producers that brought you Dog TV, Bad Dog TV. Bad! Bad! Oh, what did you do?
What did you do? Come on, boys. Come on. That's it. Good dogs. Hey, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Oh! No. Nope. Strip that ass. Strip oh, that ass. This guy again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> At number 15 on our countdown, the Brazilian variety show Panico na Ban. The program features a little person drag queen, a transvestite, and a guy with a glued on beard. It's like my racist grandmother had an acid trip. Guests are tormented by the cast, and if they make it through, they win some money. <laughs> script? <laughs> what script? The show writes itself. Attention, when you say tres. Leche, 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 leche. bueno. I'm pretty sure speaking the language wouldn't help me understand this anymore. Super glue and a little person provide the final humiliation. <laughs> You've never been covered in petroleum jelly while being abused by a little person and a man in drag? Then you haven't lived, my friend! Panico Na Band remains one of the most popular shows on Brazilian television. I went to the rap party for this and it was actually very tame. A lot of finger sandwiches and no one's 69 I was surprised. Ora, Vanessa. Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> And now, World's Dumbest presents What the F*** TV, Finland Disco Dance Party. Okay, we're going to teach you how to dance the disco, so please do like this, right, left, left, right, left foot around, and then the arms up and shake them side to side, crisscross over, and boom. Now in my legs. Everybody get up and dance with us. Dance the disco. Mm. Move your feet like this. Yes, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, women are sexy. Loosey goosey now. Just make it up as you go. It's fine. That was What the F TV. And now back to the countdown. It's vegan black metal chef. The cooking show with a heaping dose of death metal. We enter the unholy kitchen of the vegan black metal chef, a.k.a. Brian Manowitz. Yeah, because when I think of black metal, I always think of a guy named Brian Manowitz. Just when you thought vegans couldn't get more annoying. Tonight's dish, Pad Thai. Yes. Finally, a show that captures my mood when I'm forced to eat vegan cooking. You know, following the directions on the box isn't very metal. This kicks ass in its own way for the sitter would not eat your strength. Ooh, where can I pick up one of those pentagram cutting boards? Behold the glorious pad time. This pad well will shot a bad. Stop it. Satan is not a vegan. If there's one guy who likes a juicy steak, it's the f devil. Coming up, find out why this guy's face is in the wrong place. Plus, the sexiest way to get bummed out. And would you let this guy in your house? Nice place. All that and the number one dumbest TV show when World's Dumbest continues.
Hey, you! Not you, you! Are you a big fan of the show? Well, then get on Twitter and tweet us. If you do, I might even tweet you back. We now travel back to Brazil for the annual Miss Bum Bum competition. Contestants participate in a beauty pageant of sorts, except only one thing is being judged. Why did I grow up in Montana? Look at this. You ruined my life, parents. Look, Papi, the bikinis show off their body and the masks hide their shame. Derrieres are judged on curvature, density, and proportion. Você pega a mãozinha dela, primeiro osso metacarpal. Você vê que o ossinho dela cai exatamente na linha. Why are you looking at her wrist? Turn around, there's butts everywhere! Brazil is so sexy that one of those Miss Bum Bums is actually their Secretary of State. The future of the Miss Bum Bum competition looks as healthy as the backsides it celebrates. Good luck, ladies. I look forward to banging whoever has the lowest self-esteem. Ah, uh, no. Shepherds fear and Ugh, yikes. Oh, this is nice. Ah. Oh, cat fight! <laughs> ah, this is promising. Hi, <laughs> I'm Sam, and um, basically I'm here because I want to be your friend. Originally released in December 1986, Rent a Friend was intended to be a video companion for lonely bachelors. So let's just wing it and, uh, and have a ball. What do you say? <sighs> Hot diggity dog. What's your name? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't be friends with people who like jazz or say things like hot diggity dog. Do you mind if I take a look around your place a little bit? Well, thanks. Great. Let's see something. just want to check it out. Dude, what the f*** are you looking at? Oh, nice laptop. Yeah. I'm going to take that after I ball gag you and tie you to the radiator. What? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Nice place. Hey, look at this. I was infatuated with this one for like five, six years and never had a single date. Sam, is that sweater made of human hair? Yeah. You kill people, don't you, Sam? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't go, don't go. I want to take a picture of you. I can't, I can't let you go without taking a picture. Just hold still, okay? Give me the same smile that you've been giving me all this time. There you go. How's that one look, huh? So long, friend. Bye. Up next is the Fukons, a Japanese program that depicts a typical American family. Played by mannequins. Mikey, we've decided to hire you a tutor. What? That's the first I've heard of it. She's a sweet young lady, Mikey. Quite right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Japanese think we're totally artificial. Watch the nose, it's new. <laughs> Here she is. Hi, I'm Tracy the tutor. You're a very pretty and sexy tutor. Okay, Mikey, let's go get it on. Yes, ma'am! Why would you get that woman? Before she even went up to Mikey's room, you should have dismissed her. Like, no, thank you very much. We're going to get another tutor. Thank you. Take out your math notebook and solve this problem. Yes, ma'am! The buttons on my skirt came off. Eh? You should be able to solve a problem like that in a jiffy. Is it pedophilia if neither party has genitalia? Oh, uh, what? It's too hot in this room. Do you mind if I take some clothes off? What? You get distracted too easily, Mikey. Concentrate. But you keep disturbing me. Stop your whining, kid. Your tutor's hot, like window of J.C. Penny hot. Let's stop studying and do something more interesting. Just what, what do you two think, think you're, you're doing? doing? I'm teaching him something I thought would be fun. Tracy was teaching me how to make origami. Tracy was just teaching me how to make origami. <laughs> just kidding, we f <laughs> I'm Brian Bates, the original video vigilante. You're busted, buddy. What are you all doing?
You're out here having sex at a cemetery with a hooker. Brian Bates crusades against prostitution by videotaping hookers and johns in the act and publicly shaming them on his TV show. You only thought you knew the reality of street prostitution. Yeah, Brian, I, I do not think that I know the reality of street prostitution. I've never been involved. You, you seem to know a lot about it. I invite you to ride along with me now while you see the world's oldest profession through the eyes and lens of the video vigilante. Okay, I got a live one here. Uh, he just picked up this girl on the side of the road and uh, yeah, the seat is back and he's going in for the kill. Who's the real pervert here? The Johns or the guy who spends his whole week secretly videotaping hookers? Hey, how about you? sex with hookers back here, buddy. Why aren't any of these people locking the doors of their car? Give it a little click click. You're kind of up to some funny business. You are busted, buddy. This is what happens when you give your lonely uncle that video camera for Christmas. Oh, my You're God. busted, buddy. You're out here having sex with a hooker. How's it going? What are you doing with the hooker up here? Either this guy really hates prostitutes, or he kind of really digs seeing other dudes' penises. You're busted, buddy. Uh, move your move your hand. Thanks. Hey. You are busted, buddy. Hey, what are you doing, man? This is my wife. We're trying to spice up our marriage. Sometimes humorous, most often tragic, but always a hundred percent real. You are busted, buddy. And now your next set of clues for the number one world's dumbest TV show. Officers Britton Godfrey, come in. This is Britton Godfrey. Go. All police bulletin. The number one TV show is on the loose. Finally, some action. What do we got? Be on the lookout for crazed ladies and androgynous samurai and women doing sex exercises. Nah, -uh, that's it. I quit. Good. More for me then. Here I come, ladies. All that and more when World's Dumbest TV Shows continues. You can experience dumb like never before. With the world's dumbest app. It's the best videos whenever you want them. It's free on your phone or tablet. Use the app while you watch the show. Take dumb to a whole new level. Go to the app. What have we learned thus far? Swearing is not a sin. You f***ing income f***ing poop. Bounty hunting is not a hobby. And vegans love the devil. That was what we've learned so far. In 1980, the Inuit Broadcasting Corporation aired a television series introducing the world's first Arctic superhero, Super Shamu. Today's episode of Super Shamu. Sinking children. Let's go on boat. Okay. Look, there's water. You immediately know these kids should not be on this boat by the sinister clarinet music that swells. <laughs> It's a bird, it's a plane. Oh, it's a middle-aged guy in underpants. Do not be afraid, children. I'm coming! What kind of superhero costume is that? He's just wearing a Walmart sweatshirt and a tablecloth. I'm on my way! Don't worry, kids sinking in a boat. I'll be there in 40 minutes. I'll see you! Okay, Super Shamu, you can let go now. <coughs> Seriously, let, let go of those kids. What's this guy talking about? He's pretty long-winded for a superhero.
know who the hell that was. What other Arctic superhero is there out here? Everybody's safe again. <laughs> At number eight, we go to California, where a father-son duo co-hosts the Latin variety show, La Gremita y Coster. Tonight's main event, the cockfight. Okay, we've got the two biggest rooms I've ever seen getting off in each other's business. This is going to be one amazing cockfight. Oh, that type of cock. That was my third guess. This is something to be all. Two giant cocks battling it out for one tiny piece of turk. See, this is what happens when you leave fathers and sons alone with no woman around to supervise. This is the show you get. This is the dirtiest cockfight I've ever seen. The cartel said that they would spare my family, but I had to do this. You got what you want, you monsters! Wow! These two roosters are as tough as nails, and they have amazing stamina. I'll bet they can go at it all night. The yellow cock wins the match for $250. Unfortunately, no people dressed like animals were harmed in the making of this television show. If you think you have what it takes to be the biggest cock on the block, give us a call and we'll let you know. I'm glad they got rid of the animal cruelty, but isn't this audience cruelty? And now, World's Dumbest proudly presents The Real Baby Mamas of Richmond. That's a pretty good title. I would have gone with 12 Black Snookies. And we're here to say Every Monday night we're on your TV You wish you was a real baby mama like me Next we're gonna see the Deadbeat Dads of Richmond Which is then gonna be followed by That ain't even my baby You wish you was a real baby mama like me Like me, like me Interesting <sighs> Oof, easy, easy what the? Oops. We returned to the countdown with Junior Christian Teaching Bible Lesson Program, which ran for an impressive 20 straight years on public access. As we rise above the seeming mist, we behold more clearly that all hearts and homage belong to God. Jesus, Mary, Annette, and Joseph. We're so blessed by the almighty God that we have so many talented guests on our show. Now, the lady in the middle, uh, human or another puppet? I, I can't, I'm just like, I can't tell. We're all so blessed by the almighty God that we have the talent to Dan with us. Yeah, kids, don't do drugs, don't do crack, heroin, cocaine, mescaline, LSD, any of that stuff. Whoa, 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 slow down. What was that after heroin? Um, give a whack and say no to crack. You know you're just telling kids to replace drugs with masturbation, right? Howdy, my name is Mr. Great Martian, and I'll be singing from these not children. Let's start with the music. So wait, Martians speak English with a southern accent? Would not have guessed that. From these my children, gather in thy name. It's like that part in the Bible where Jesus comes down the spaceship and does a puppet show. Hallelujah. 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 And thus God spaketh to the Muppets, saying, "'Tis time for Muppet magic on the Muppet show tonight." to Japan for a game show that reaches a whole new level of dumb. A contestant is held in a compromising position with a friend across from him. The men are asked questions. If they give different answers... <laughs> Where is that robotic Lincoln Memorial carrying that guy? But with balls in your face. Oh, no. Ooh. 
Honey, it's not gay if you're doing it on a game show. Oh. <laughs> the show's just literally balls in the face every time. Why even have the questions? Wow, I can't believe someone took my dating life and made it into a game show. Coming up, Pie Ninjas. Us. We're going to get to painting. We're going to do some exercising. We're going to make some wonderful blended drinks. And a serious sausage party. Eat the bologna. When world's dumbest TV show. This is Los Angeles Cable Television. Next up, Let's Paint. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the live edition of Let's Paint. For over five years, public access television host John Kilduff encouraged viewers to embrace their creativity with his own unconventional technique. We're going to get to painting. We're going to do some exercising. And, of course, we're going to make some wonderful blended drinks. Hi, I'm John Kilduff. Welcome to Cocaine. <laughs> Let's paint. <laughs> Why would I say cocaine? <laughs> this guy ripped off my show where I sit on the toilet, play the piano, and do shots. Hello, caller number 25. What's your name? I'm Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Do you, do you like to paint or exercise or, or make blended drinks? I like to paint. I like to make juices, and I want to f***ing <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, did we get her phone number? I've been on real TV many times, and no one has ever called and offered to my. What kind of picture you gonna paint it like some kind of Van Gogh or something? You no, know, it could be. It could be. It might be a Van Gogh. It might be a piece. Of Maybe I'll just get loaded the rest of the afternoon. I don't know. It's a toss-up. We're figuring it out. Sometimes I like to enter the process without knowing what the hell I'm doing. It's doing great right now. Keep doing it. Uh. John, I think your cameraman's having a seizure. You know when you're waking up early in the morning, it's nice and peaceful. Let's try to get that in our real lives. Despite going off the air, John continues to inspire artists with his website. And I have a question about multitasking. When is it too much? And can I give you a handy? Next on our countdown, Turkish dating show, Open Sesame Open, which has an exciting way to get its audience involved in the fun of dating. Mm, so is David Lynch directing TV shows in Turkey now? Ah, the traditional Turkey military sausage waltz. Open Sesame, eat the bologna. <laughs> Finally, a hilarious way to come out of the closet. This is actually the Turkish bachelor. Instead of roses, you get giant pieces of meat. Who oh, wants yeah. the bologna? Big man. Eat the bologna. Eat it. <laughs> Who wants the bologna? Who wants to eat the bologna? My little baby bird with a scarf. Hungry? You, pretty boy. Stuff that sausage down his talk hole. Open sesame. Eat the bologna. We are so breaking up when we get home. <laughs> that is how you eat the bologna. Thank you. The guy who gets the first bite of the sausage. I get being excited. The guys who get the second and third bites off the same sausage. Now I feel weird. You pretty boy. Open sesame. <laughs> And now, it's time for Extra Dumb TV. And we'll be building muscular strength. That's what this video is about. OK, let's go. Pump the arms like you're in the mud. Shoulders down, chest open. With arms. Good job, guys. Down, a lesser known gig for actress Linda Blair. A bizarre 1989 informational program called How to Get Revenge. Hi, I'm Linda Blair, welcoming you to How to Get Revenge. Ah, oh, Linda Blair. Still turning heads, baby. Still turning heads. Our aim is to simply inform you of the options you have to make that person experience the same humiliation, the same mental anguish that they inflicted on you. 
This feels like her therapist just gave her a TV show as a way of dealing with her rage. You will discover invaluable techniques of retribution. Example. Fill a paper bag with fresh animal droppings. The fresher, the better. The fresher, the better? What are you talking about, tomatoes or something? This is poop. Then place it on the victim's doorstep. Once done, you'd light the bag on fire, knock on the victim's front door, then run to his backyard. Then when the victim arrived, he'd have no choice oh. but to put out the fire. Meanwhile, you'd run to the victim's back door and begin pounding on it. This would cause the startled victim to run back to his home, soiling his fine shag carpeting with animal droppings. I understand why the guy stepped on the flaming bag of poop to extinguish the flames, but I don't get why he had the jitterbug through his house. Go, go, go. Yeah! Let's face it, revenge can be sweet, especially when it's against someone who really deserves it. Although only one episode was produced, the show remains the definitive guide on getting even. Stay tuned for more on the series. How to mug an old lady, how to cheat on your taxes, and how to kill your son of a bitch ex. All right. Uh, uh, oops, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We now head to Japan for the game show Gaki no Tsukai, best known for its batsu, or punishment games. Here, a cast member who's lost a bet to a friend is about to discover what form of punishment he's earned. <laughs> and the Japanese are at it again. So, kite living de tabako de mo suoka na. These ninjas seem to have an endless supply of cream. <laughs> they keep hitting him with pies, and he's acting like he doesn't even see that they're there. <laughs> Yeah, let's get his pants off and f his f uh, throw pies at it. Gaki no Tsukai premiered in October 1989 and is still on doling out odd punishments today. <laughs> Who the f is gonna clean that up? Yes! It's time for the number one dumbest TV show. Sluts and goddess, former stripper. Do something, we can't miss the number one dumbest TV show. Hey, okay, all right! Take hey. own menstrual blood. Oh. Awaken your Do the energy of your orgasm will fuel your dream to What come is this true. filth? You love it, don't you? I do. It's so empowering. Stay tuned for the number one dumbest TV show coming up next. Our number one dumbest TV show comes to us from Los Angeles Public Access Television. It's called Sluts and Goddesses Workshop, an educational show exploring female sexual empowerment. The slut and the goddess. I'm your host, Annie Sprinkle. Let's meet your transformation facilitators. Hi, I'm Amara. Hi, I'm Diviana. Hi, I'm Jade. Hey, so when do the goddesses get here? The show offers help on everything from new age sexual fulfillment to beauty tips. Now you're ready to apply some makeup. So what if you're like a lifelong whore, but you just want to change it up a little? Is that for us too? You haven't really lived fully until you've had your body painted. Use your own menstrual blood. Now, if I don't have any of my own menstrual blood, can I borrow some from the neighbor? Choose a new name or two. Ishtar, Zora, or Rainbow Buffalo Corn Woman. Yeah, change your name to Rainbow Buffalo Corn Woman. You know, something slutty. I want you to dance, dance, dance. Om Namah Shivaya. You can utilize 
utilize your sexual energy in many, many ways, like to heal an illness in your body or, or to make your dreams come true. The energy of your orgasm will fuel your dreams. Your dream is a motorcycle? Just go buy a motorcycle. What if my dream is for this to stop? <laughs> I call upon the spirits of all the greatest sex experts that ever lived. I ask for your wisdom. Kelly Sheen, Kim Kardashian, Wolf Chamberlain, come to me! I think you're overthinking this, ladies. Men are pretty easy to bang as a group. I do hope that you had a good time with the Slut and the Goddesses video workshop. Now you are ready to f Oh, no, 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 I was ready to f before. Now I don't know if I'll ever f again. Is the exit to this nightmare over here? Great, thank you. I got a game for you. Yeah! Small penis joke, I'm not gonna do that. Please! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Diarrhea from hell. Oh. Oh! <laughs> What's that you say? Why, yes, I am in 